This equation over here must have three real distinct roots, which means that if I were to make use of the curve that I have, it is the intersection between this curve and the line y is equal to k. And that will be a horizontal line. And this line will be cutting the curve at three points, giving this equation here three distinct roots as long as this line is in between the maximum and the minimum point of the curve. That is why the only thing that we need to do now is to find the y coordinate of this point and this point. When x is equal to minus 1, if I were to substitute into here, the y coordinates of this point is going to be equal to 3. And if x is equal to 1 and I substitute into here, the y coordinates is going to be minus 1, which means that this line and the value of k must be between minus 1 and 3. That is why I can say that k is going to be all real numbers such that k is supposed to be between minus 1 and 3. But just one more thing to take note of is k cannot be equal to minus 1, neither can k be equal to 3 because if k is equal to minus 1, that means it is going to have just two distinct roots and if k is equal to 3, then it will have just two distinct roots. But what this question wants is to have three real distinct roots. That's why k must be strictly between minus 1 and 3.